Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 26th. Uh, Leo, we are going to jump right in here and see what is going on for you. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Uh, also, make sure to only follow the social media accounts down below. Uh, I will never ask you for money. I will never offer personal readings. So if anyone claiming to be me does that, uh, make sure to report them, Leo. But uh, Leo, let's see what is going on for you. Here, definitely some sort of new adventure. Pretty much every single sign this week has had something about a new adventure. Again, adventuring could be travel or something like that, but it could also be learning something new. It's like you're going on the adventure of discovering something new here, Leo. Um, but this is pretty interesting. You start off with the otter spirit. I feel like a family is going to be very important for you this week. Yeah, you have the hermit as well here. It's like you're coming out of this time of like being in hermit mode actually. So I feel maybe you have been spending a lot of time with family or friends or people that are close to you. It's like you're, uh, I feel like your social life is about to kind of speed up a little bit over here for sure. I would like make sure to protect your energy, like make sure people are not uh, draining on you and you know all that other stuff. I would make sure of that, but uh, it looks pretty good here, Leo. Uh, I would make sure to have fun as well. The otter spirit is kind of like an energy of needing to make sure that you're having fun or doing things that you enjoy. And it, it like represents needing to add play to your life. So if you're just working hard and not playing hard, you know, make sure to add in some fun into your life. Um, you have the fool, the high priestess, and the page of wands here. Page of wands, card of adventure. Literally, we go page of wands, ace of wands, three of wands. Going on an adventure. <laughs> you can't make that up with the adventures card here, Leo. But uh, again, you have the fool, high priestess, and page of wands. It's like you're taking a, a you know leap of faith towards something here. Uh, I feel like this is very interesting is what I'm s kind of sensing here. So I, I'm going to wait for a second because I am getting something weird on this um, Fool card. It's like something is asking you to turn around. I don't feel that normally on the Fool card. Even though the dog is behind him on the Fool, uh, to me... You know, I consider the fool, to the dog kind of represents companionship. He's going with the fool on his journey. He's nipping at his heels, saying, like, let's go, let's go, let's go, right? Uh, but there's some sort of change here that I'm getting, So, uh, which is weird. I never get that on the fool card. And what I would, and, you know, this is more of like an intuitive message. I feel like there's like a side opportunity or a different opportunity that's coming in for you. The High Priestess Mysteries kind of says you have a choice here uh, whether or not to take this opportunity. And Page of Wands would be you going on the adventure, right? So uh, what the hell does that mean? For some of you, I feel this is a change of in work or business. I feel like this is, for some of you, this has already happened. Where it's like maybe you thought you were going one direction, work or business, but it's like maybe, uh, maybe your best friend wants to hire you for their business, right? And it's like, you didn't really expect it, but you went in that direction or you did something new. I feel like there are going to be new opportunities that pop up for you, especially in business. And I would take advantage of these opportunities um, that pop up if you have a business uh, for, and these are going to be uh, kind of like new uh, opportunities. I know, I know that's a very vague message, Leo, but uh, it's funny because Aries had something very similar and I'm kind of picking up on the same energy for you where there could be like maybe there's a new social media website or something like that where you could promote your business. I feel like this reading is like literally saying you want to be one of the first people on there <laughs> because it'll be beneficial. So uh, crazy, but it's popping into my head. So I have to say it. For others, I feel that there's an opportunity. High Priestess represents potential, something that just has potential it you know the problem with the high priestess is if you don't take action it's just nothing what is the high priestess let's find out you have the uh, tower here again like i said uh, I'm, I'm not too worried about the tower this is your past position with the tower here. And again, I feel like it's just a surprise change that you made. Um, it, you know, again, and something that you did, maybe even you didn't expect, but I'm not saying it was like, oh, like this big, you know, surprise change that you made. I feel like it just, you just didn't expect it. You have the uh, three of cups here. Again, I feel like a third party is entering into your life here. And I'm not referring to love here, Leo. I, it, it's almost like there's a third place that's showing up in your life. Uh, kind of a weird feeling I get from your reading. The readings have been weird this week, for sure. There's 
clearly either an energetic change happening or something. But what I would say here is it's like there's an opportunity I feel that's coming in for you that you just don't, you know, you just never have thought of before. You just never, you have maybe never expected your life to go in this direction. So I don't think it's like this major jaw dropping, you know, like change in your life. But it's like maybe right now you're a mechanic or a chef and it's like maybe there's an opportunity for you to, uh, you know, uh, join NASA or something like that. It's like that, you know, that's a little bit extreme, Leo. But, you know, I feel like there's an opportunity. You just didn't expect it. Here it is right here. And I'm seeing the three cups as this like third place where, and what I mean by a third place is it's like, I think that as humans, we think, you know, black or white, we think very binary, right? Our, our brains, that's how, how we work. And this is just something that's like, like out of the blue, right? Doesn't even, you don't even know where it's coming from. So uh, that could be very exciting. I kind of like where this is going, Leo. You have the four swords here. I feel like you have time to think about it as well. So if you get like a random work opportunity or some sort of random job opportunity, business opportunity, whatever it is, it's like, I feel like you'll have a little bit of time to think about it. It is going to require your intuition, I feel, with that Four of Swords. Four of Swords, not really an intuitive card, but just intuitively, I feel like it's going to be one of those things where it's like, you're going to be thinking about this you know, if your friend offers you a job or, you know, maybe you just get some random job offer, business offer, whatever. And I think you're kind of like thinking of all the possibilities. That's how I'm seeing that four of swords where you're like, where, you know, where is this going? What's going on here? This could be love for some of you as well. So again, for those of you who are looking for love, um, you know, again, I'm not really looking at this as a love reading because I just think it's a little bit bigger picture than that. But if it is love, you know, I would, I would say it's probably like a person you just don't expect but I feel like you'd be happy about it, so uh, I would go for it. But for the most part, I feel like you're kind of thinking about all the opportunities and all the possibilities here, Leo. You have this fox spirit next. This card says, think on your feet. So again, I feel like this is going to require mental quickness. The fox, you know, if you, if you read about fox medicine as well, it's kind of like an energy of needing to blend into a situation. Almost kind of like Queen of Swords. I consider the Queen of Swords to be the fake it till you make it card. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really getting fake it till you make it vibes here, but I do feel like you're going to have to blend into a situation. Even in the uh, Animal Speaks book by Ted Andrews, he talks about the fox where it's like, uh, I think he tells a story. Um, I'm not I, I'm not sure if it's him or the other book. I can't really remember, but, but in one of the animal books, they, he tells a story about how he went to a party or something like that, and he, he, he saw a fox and how he just pictured himself as being invisible, sitting on a couch, and somebody sat on him because it's like foxes are about kind of uh, blending into a situation, being able to disappear quickly or whatever. And so I feel like some of you, the fox spirit is asking you to learn how to, or it is saying you are going to have to blend into a situation uh, very, very, um, uh, you know, very quickly here. So it's like maybe you're getting a job in, that where you kind of feel like a fish out of water where you feel like I don't really feel like you're not going to feel like you don't belong or anything like that just again different it's like you're going from again chef to NASA or something like that something <laughs> is happening here Leo and in your business it's like maybe you have a blog and you're going to be on YouTube right it's like you're going from one medium to another that's like the feeling I get here and it's like you're gonna have to blend in to the situation. I feel like the more you can do that, the better. I hope that makes sense, Leo. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Swords here. Again, and if this is love, it's like maybe you're meeting a person who comes from a very different background than you. So it's kind of like you're having to blend into the. I'm not saying you're changing. I'm just saying you're kind of like blending your energy here, right? You have the Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. The Seven of Swords here, definitely a very powerful new beginning. You are going to feel drawn to this opportunity as well that comes your way. Four of Pentacles is kind of like uh, wanting to hold on to the old ways, wanting to hold on to your old life a little bit. So, you know, you are a Leo. I have a ton of Leos in my life, my brother, my dad, uh, tons, right? And so, you know, I, I think that this is a little bit of this like Leo nostalgia coming up here. Um, and I can see this in a lot of Leos. So I'm not criticizing you. Obviously, I love you Leos, right? But uh, what I would say here is that I feel like it's going to be, you know, maybe that's like the challenge here is having to let go of something from the past. I also feel like saying that things are probably not going to be perfect here with this Seven of Swords. So, 
you know, I feel like there could be some challenges in this change that you're going to be making. And it, the Seven of Swords can be a warning against needing things to be 100% perfect, right? Seven of Swords can represent lying, cheating, stealing, all that other stuff. But, uh, you know, what I would say here is I feel it's more a warning of like wanting things to be perfect. It, it can represent taking things too seriously as well. He has polka dots on his shirt. Polka dots in the tarot represent taking things too seriously. You have the otter, which is asking you to have fun, right? So I feel like for some of you, this is saying you need to uh, not take things too seriously, especially if you're getting this you know exciting new opportunity here, Leo. Uh, let's see where this is going. You have the hangman here. Yeah, I feel like you have all the information you need. Hangman is like putting yourself on pause. Again, I feel like you have time to think about this opportunity that's coming your way. Some of you already know about this opportunity for change. And, and so you have time to think about it. But, you know, what I would say is it's like, you know, the hangman's like, how much more information do you need? <laughs> right? That's what I would say there. You have the three of wands. This is going to cause a lot of growth, a lot of expansion. Three of wands waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. The time is now here, Leo. And the eight of pentacles, just put in the work. You, you know what this is saying to me? Uh, I, I just got chills too. Whenever I get chills to me that says I'm going the right direction with the reading, this is saying to me, there's something you want to be. Just be it, right? Um, with that fox spirit. Again, the fox is about kind of blending into an energy here. I feel for a lot of you that there is an energy that you know that you want to be maybe you want to be a famous writer an actor maybe you want to be just in a relationship whatever right i feel like you just need to play i feel like the otter spirit is just saying pretend like you already have that <laughs> whatever it is you want i literally feel like that's what this reading is saying is that there's an opportunity that you think is a little bit out of reach i feel like if you could just pretend and play and just try it right then uh you will be very successful you will get what you're trying to get three of wands says no more waiting you'll get everything is saying take action now in your reading so for some of you i feel like this reading is pretty simply saying there's something that you desire to have in your life an opportunity goal wish dream whatever you just need to uh, play and pretend that you already have it and act as if right that's what this reading is saying uh, i like it eight of pentacles results so uh, definitely very good for you. You have the Adventures card. Again, very playful energy here, Leo, when you think about it. So uh, you have the Adventures card here. I feel like you need to go on the adventure and play. Three of Wands, again, waiting for the perfect moment. Ten of Wands, King of Wands. Uh, the problem with the Ten of Wands here is, again, I feel like that could be another challenge for you because the Ten of Wands is like, yeah, I want to play, but like I, I have all these responsibilities. I have all these things I need to do. You know, And so I feel like for some of you, this is saying like, don't allow responsibilities and stuff to cloud your judgment it's like you know what i would say to you here leo is, is like years ago i uh had a, i had a business when i was younger i let that business go i basically you know i've told this story before i did nothing for like two or three years i just sat sat around and twiddled my thumbs literally literally did nothing right and i just sat there and stewed because i was like i don't know i was pissed off at the world or something like that right who knows i don't know i don't know i still don't know why i did it right uh, although i did spend that time learning and things like that but i wouldn't allow myself to have fun um you know or uh, i wouldn't allow myself to do you know fun things Things, basically I was like no I have to be serious and I have to get all this work done right and uh, which wasn't working <laughs> all the work I was doing all the things I was trying to build none of it worked right and it's like I was trying to like force things to happen and it literally wasn't until I stopped and uh, I started going for walks uh, I started having fun I started going out with friends and just uh, doing things I wanted to do and stopped focusing on it right it wasn't until I did those things that uh, I started becoming successful again right so I kind of get that energy for you here with the ten of wands I feel like it's saying uh, you know make sure you're having fun make sure you're doing things uh, that kind of get your brain out of that energy again I feel um, you know it's like sometimes if you're going through challenges or struggles or whatever all you want to do is focus on it but i feel like this is saying it really doesn't help right so let's see where this is going the sun your card showing up in a very strong position a lot of happiness and growth coming in for you there's a lot of happiness coming in for you here leo you have the six of cups a lot of happiness coming in for you here duh and the devil i feel like definitely let go of toxic uh energies here but i feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you i'm kind of getting a side message here as well leo popping into my head it's like if you're in a relationship or if you're with a person i feel like there could be some you know toxic behaviors you know and this is you know all of us right we all do these things so uh what i would say here is i feel like the devil is just saying hey this is something that could be avoided if you have a conversation about it or if you decide hey no more toxic energy let's work on this right um I've really been encouraging people to work on relationships because, uh, you know, I, 
I just think it's not going to be fun in the near future to look for a new relationship if you've been in one. <laughs> so it's like if you have something that's working, you might as well get it to work. Uh, I think there's too much like grass is greener on the other side syndrome going on in relationships on both sides, men, women, whatever you're interested in, doesn't matter. And so it's like I know there's a lot of YouTube channels and stuff that like blame it on this side, blame it on that side, whatever. Um, but, you know, to me, it's like both. I'll, I blame everybody. I'm like, you know, if I have children, I'm going to be one of those parents that if if one of the children comes and tattles on the other one, I'm going to punish both because I'm an equal opportunity punisher, right? And um, that's what I would say here. It's like if you're in something that's good, it's like try to fix it. I feel like there are going to be more benefits for people in relationships, especially with the energetic changes that we're going through in you know getting something that's working to work. And if the other side isn't willing, then there's nothing you can do, but at least you tried, right? So uh, that's what I would say here. I think that's what's going to work is cooperation. How's that for you know amazing advice in relationships? Like God forbid everybody cooperates, right? But uh, that's what I would say here. Uh, Leo. Uh, I went off on a rant there. Sorry. But uh, anyway, um, what I would say here is that this is amazing. Definitely a lot of happiness. Some sort of opportunity coming for you. Can we get some more details, Leo, on, um, like I said, there's something coming up here. For some of you, I feel like you already know what it is. It's like a change you're making in your business. Or again, like I said, there's something you've always wanted. You've always wanted to be an actor. You've always wanted to be an author. You've always wanted to be a mother, a father, a, a business owner, whatever. It doesn't matter, right? And I feel like you just need to embrace the energy. Yeah, this could be the hard thing is letting something die. Um, I don't know what it is with you, Leo. Again, I, this is not a criticism, but I do feel there's like an energy that could be preventing some of you from allowing um, something to die. Like imagine you grew up and you always had these beliefs like X, Y, Z is true, right? Um, could be about relationships, about businesses. It's like, to me, this is Neptune and Pisces where it's like Neptune and Pisces is to show us that something we have always believed is not true. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what it is, right? And so it's like, for some of you, that's how I'm seeing the Ten of Swords. It reminds me of like people who complain about clickbait on YouTube. It's like, it is what it is, right? With YouTube, it's like, if you wanna get views on your video, it's like there are ways to promote the video, and which you know some people consider to be clickbait, but you know it works and it, for, for a reason, right? And some people try to start YouTube channels and they're like, I'm not gonna do clickbait. I've seen it a million times. Guess what? Nothing happens. Their channel do, uh, doesn't grow as quickly and all this other stuff. And you, you we can debate all day long if it's ethical or if it's not ethical or you know whatever right but what i'm saying is it's like sometimes there are like long-held beliefs where people are like this is unethical they hold on to that belief when it could be hurting them that's the ten of swords right and so, uh, you know, for some of you, I feel like there could be some beliefs that are being pointed out to you about your life, and it's like you're maybe needing to move past those beliefs. And again, this is not going to be something that's bad or anything like that. You have these Six of Cups here. Like I said, there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. And are you kidding me? Ten of Cups, uh, fortune after difficulty, a lot of happiness coming in for you. For a lot of you, this is like an opportunity to have a family uh, or love, um, you know, or true love in your life. It's going to require work. And, you know, I do feel like there are some you know, things that are dying here, but mostly like old beliefs. It's a really good reading, Leo. I like it. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Leo, and definitely enjoy your week.